Um, I think, no doubt, like many of you, your organisations, at the ABC we have spent a bit of time, a fair bit of time, thinking about um, where audiences might be in 10 years. I think 10 years is, is achievable. Um, and to determine the kinds of content our audiences might want and how they'll be accessing it and how they'll be consuming that content. And if we throw forward 10 years, we tend to look at a decade of entrenched behaviours and expectations around a few things. And that's around personalisation, about uh, location-based technology, real-time interactivity around communities of interest, and most importantly, anywhere, anytime, on any device. Um, Personalisation, you know, what, where the information is, is curated and, and uh, delivered and collected from a range of, of trusted brands and sources and communities. Um, interactivity, sharing, discussing, curating, distributing. Um, the audience being part of what we do and part of the distribution model um, that we have. Geotechnology, which is delivering information and news relevant to our locations, anywhere, anytime, on any device. I think that this has been one of the, the most significant disruptors for uh, the area of journalism and one of the greatest challenges and opportunities that we have. And I think we can all look at our immediate sort of ecosystems to, to try and chart where we are heading. And if I look in my household, my five-year-old has absolutely no idea um, what the Foxtel on-air button is for. For him, it's the planning button, and that's all that matters because that's where his content is. And I think we've got to think about that into the future. Clearly, I'm a broadcaster, um, and we've got to think about the way in which people will be gathering their content, that personalised um, uh, dis distribution and access to content. I think the surprising element in some of the conversations that we've been having at the ABC is the strength of traditional radio and television networks in, into the future in terms of our audience forecasting. And I think one of the, my colleagues points out that when you think about it, the one-to-many broadcast model delivers audiences of hundreds of thousands, if not millions, on a very good night, whereas the one-to-one um, one delivery audience, uh, delivers audience of tens to th of thousands um, over a long period of time. And I think that's something certainly as broadcasters we need to take into account. I think we are in a, a period of extraordinary change and I think the danger and challenge for us as news leaders and as media leaders is to focus too much on the technology, trying to map where it's heading, its impact, and not enough time on nurturing and growing the principles that have always underpinned really great journalism. And I think Harry under, underestimates a bit the foresight of the conversations that were happen, happening 40 years ago. The observations that uh, those men were making about the passion for the craft, the fierce defence of the need for inquiring minds in journalism, and an absolute disdain for trivia and superficiality in journalism. Um, it's as true now as it will be in, in 40 years' time. I think that clear commitment to pursuing goals of journalistic credibility um, are as important now as they will be in 40 years' time. I think it's terribly important to, to talk about the future, and I think it's important to build. Uh, the greatest thing we can do is build agility and um, an acceptance of the need to change within the organisations that we lead. And I think Harry alluded to that, that notion that at that time newspapers perhaps didn't chain, didn't have a culture of change that, that could forecast uh, where things were moving towards. I don't know where the global media landscape will be in 10 years or in 20 years, but I'm pretty confident um, that beautifully crafted crafted stories and probing investigative journalism and um, public interest reporting uh, and strong and trusted news brands will be very much part of the landscape that the table at the background, at the, at the back of the room will be leading. Thank you very much, Kate.